It's a common fear for many parents and they'd rather just wait. They're afraid that by explaining what is sex to their child in the intermediate age, they're going to ruin their childhood. Many parents are afraid that it'll be too much adult information and overwhelm their seven, eight or nine year old. I hear this so much from parents that I'm starting to wonder how it became so ingrained in our parenting brains. So let's challenge that fear. I call this story, What's for Dinner? I'm Kathleen and I make videos for parents on how to have the modern day sex talks. I talked with a lot of people about their sex ed growing up in the home. And one person in particular shared with me that her mom was making dinner one night and her mom asked her, would you like to eat what I'm making for dinner or would you like to have something else? So she said, I'd like to have something else. And so her mom said, what do you want? And she goes, I'd like nachos. And so her mom said, okay, fine. If you can finish making your nachos by the time I finish making dinner, you can have nachos for dinner. Now she's super excited and motivated to make those nachos. So she gets up and starts cooking. Now the mom says to her, while you're making those nachos, I want to tell you what sex is. And she proceeds to have a sex talk and explain what is sex. Now the kid here is around 11 or 12 years old when her mom decides to explain what is sex. Now she had already learned and heard what sex was from her friends about three or four years prior. Now she said it felt slightly awkward, but she just went with it because she really wanted those nachos. And so she let her mom just continue talking and explaining what sex was. And she said it was fine because I was able to just kind of focus on cooking my nachos. And she focused on cooking dinner and telling me what sex was. And you know, that was that. So I said, that sounds like a pretty good way for your mom to initiate the talk. And she goes, no, no, wait, it gets better. She said this went on to happen many times over the next few months where her mom would ask her, would you like what I'm making for dinner or would you like something else? And it basically became code for, we're gonna have a sex talk. Now fast forward a few years, the kid is now 16 years old and she is making dinner when her mom comes home. And she says to her mom, would you like what I'm making for dinner or would you like something else? And immediately her mom said something else because she knew her daughter had a sex question. So of course I asked her, I was like, what was your sex question? And she said that she wanted to ask her mom, how do you know when you're ready to have sex? Cause she had been thinking about having sex. And she said her mom in a very calm and non-judgmental way, just started talking about all the variety of considerations to think about. And at the end of it basically said, you know, I think I've given you a lot of information here, but maybe you want to talk to a physician and talk to somebody about birth control and STI prevention. And they ended up scheduling an appointment at a healthcare provider. What I think is great about this story is it shows something that I try to convey often to parents, which is creating a home environment that allows for communication in a safe and non-judgmental way, allows for the sex talks to go both ways, where you can give information to your child and then they can request information and ask questions from you because they feel safe and they know they're gonna get accurate information from you. Now, what this mom did was brilliant in regards to prepping herself to have the sex talk. She prepped what she was going to say and how she was going to deliver it. And she did it in a way that made herself feel comfortable in having the conversation. And this translated into comfort for her kid. But she was late to the game. Her kid had already heard the word sex and knew what sex was about four years prior. Parents, if your intention is to be the one to explain what sex is to your kid, I will strongly suggest not waiting until they're 12 years old. If you've got a kid that's currently six or seven years old, start thinking about how you wanna explain what is sex in the next one to two years. Start prepping and planning how you want to answer that question and how you want to convey your family values, your religious or cultural beliefs, and how you would feel comfortable in delivering that information. And then plan to initiate that talk. Here's a checklist of topics and conversations to have before you explain what is sex. There are links to videos on these topics in the description, as well as a playlist right here. If you're still watching, thank you. And please tap that like button if you find this information to be useful. If you're thinking to yourself, Kathleen, eight years old is still way too young to explain what is sex. I'd like to wait a few more years. You can absolutely do that. But let me just share with you a few of the conversations that you'll need to be having in the middle school age range, ages 10, 11, and 12. Puberty changes and development, sexually explicit content, AKA the porn talk, digital sex talks, explaining sexuality versus sex and sexual and romantic orientations. And now this list isn't exhaustive. This is just naming a few. There's a lot of information to cover in the modern day sex talks. And in my opinion, waiting until your kid is 12 or 13 years old to start the sex talks is just too late. 
If you've got any questions, go on and drop them in the comments. I love making videos off of your questions. And if you'd like to help me out, go on and share this video with a parent that you think might find it useful. I'm Kathleen and I'll be back next week with another video.